Without a confession, nursing home serial killer might never have been caught. Illinois makes it easier for ex-offenders to work in healthcare, and two armed men rob St. Louis nursing home in broad daylight. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. After two years of investigation, a Canadian inquiry has found that an eight-time nursing home murderer would have eluded detection without her self-provoked confession. The pronouncement came Wednesday as a commissioner reviewing Elizabeth Wetlofer's crimes and her ability to elude detection for a decade presented formal findings to the public. Wetlofer blamed anger over the 2007 breakup of her marriage for the killing spree that started later that same year. After checking herself into a psychiatric hospital in 2016, she confessed. She ultimately pleaded guilty to the first-degree murder of eight seniors, four attempted murder charges, and two counts of aggravated assault. Wetlawfer landed job after job with glowing references, no one noting disciplinary action, fraction with suspicious co-workers going back to 1995, or that time she had been fired for administering insulin to the wrong patient. Insulin was Wetlawfer's weapon of choice, and the formal findings noted it was unlikely that autopsies of any of the murder victims wouldn't produce evidence of murder. She was sentenced to life in prison in 2017, with the government inquiry examining more than 42,000 documents and hearing from 50 or so witnesses. The state of Illinois is attempting to make it easier for people with criminal records to get a job in the healthcare industry after Governor J.B. Pritzker signed a new measure on Wednesday. In Illinois, ex-offenders with certain convictions can't work in a healthcare setting without being granted a healthcare worker waiver. Senate Bill 1965, which is effective immediately, streamlines the waiver application process for people with disqualifying convictions. It also allows eligible organizations to initiate fingerprint-based background checks and obtain waivers before receiving a job offer, according to the governor's office. Quote, the applicants will continue to be held to the same standards without compromising the safety of our residents, so we've had no issue with the bill, Ashley Snavely, legislative director for the Illinois Healthcare Association, said. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. Just past 2 p.m. on Friday, detectives said two men dressed in employee uniforms from Cycle, a medical waste disposal company, entered the administrative office at Northview Village Nursing and Rehab Center in St. Louis, Missouri, and robbed the nursing home. The suspects pointed a gun at an employee and demanded money. Police say the men ran away after stealing the money in broad daylight. No injuries were reported and an investigation is currently ongoing. Police are asking for the public's help in identifying the duo. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.